Minding Your Business, the show for incredibly talented artistic, business, and musical entrepreneurs. I'm your host, June Middleton. All of the wonderful, talented guests that appear on the show are entrepreneurs in one form or another. And we talk about that uh, and what business form they might have on the show. We've covered sole proprietorships, partnerships, corporations, and we'll be covering limited liability companies as well. Uh, tonight, we're just going to quickly go back over the corporation, because that's kind of like the most complex form of business entity that um, exists. And we're going to do that this evening before we have the pleasure of listening to and meeting our featured entrepreneur of this evening, musical group, the George Daniel Bennett Group. Our musical entrepreneurs who have just completed a new album, which he's going to talk to us about. I'm really excited to hear it as well, because they're playing pieces from it. So just to quickly talk about, let's look at the corporation. It's um, an individual, uh, an entity. It's a person in its own right. It has the ability to f make contracts, hire employees, lease corporations, lease buildings, lease uh, office space, and pretty much do anything that a person would do. And the thing that's so important about a corporation is that it exists in perpetuity. For example, we have talked somewhat about um, the Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company on another show. And that is a corporation that started way before any of us were even around, which you know now, today, as the A&P Company and Food Emporium. But they started out as the Great, Atl like Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company. And this is what happens with corporations. They can just exist even though the original owners might have long ago left, sold their shares if they were publicly owned, or died, unfortunately, uh, but they've, the corporation, though, still continues to go on. It's formed by uh, making application to the Department of State in whatever state you're located in, and you get your papers, and the corporation is then in existence. This is called a C corporation. As I said, it is a, a fictitious person and it is a legal entity. It can operate totally independent from its owners. And the owners who are called shareholders have limited liability protection, which is really the best part. Also too, with a corporation, it gives you the ability to raise money or to borrow money in the form of bonds, which is a big advantage when um, you're going through a period in your business where you really want to have uh, some additional funds coming in. So you can do that uh, with the corporation because it is an entity, as I said, separately, totally separate from those who own it. Now, the thing though that um, is a negative um, aspect of the C corporation, which a lot of shareholders are not happy about, is that the corporation pays its own income taxes. But if it gives you any money from its profits, you have to pay tax on that money as well. So what happened and what developed out of that was something that the IRS said, listen, OK, you want a corporation, but you don't want the double taxation. So you can elect to become an S corporation. Now, the S corporation is something that um, is like a partnership, but uh, it is a corporation with all of the limited liability protections that a regular corporation has. But it has what's called pass through taxation. Any money that the corporation makes, the profits, are distributed directly to the shareholders, depending on how many shares they might own. So um, if the corporation distributes any kind of dividends to shareholders, 
you have to pay tax, the corporation pays tax. But if you're an S corporation, only the corporation pays tax. And that eliminates the double taxation, which is a real problem for a lot of businesses. So um, again, you have limited liability as an S corporation. The only negative is that you do not have the same kind of freedom as you have with the regular corporation. It's limited to 100 shareholders. All shareholders have to be either a resident or a U.S. citizen. But other than that, um, it's an entity that, like I said, has that wonderful pass-through taxation. It's really, it's treated like a partnership, which is a big advantage for a, a smaller business. If you are planning on going public at some point, then you're going to want to form just the regular C corporation. And again, just remember that with the corporation, you have, you are protected from the debts and obligations of that business entity. So, it's something that is to be considered, and as I said, the S Corporation is formed with the Department of State. The only difference is, is that then, after you form the corporation, you have to apply, make uh, an election to the Internal Revenue Service, our wonderful friends in Washington, who will tell you whether or not, okay, you can be an S Corporation, and we won't tax the corporation, we'll just tax you. So I don't know if that's a plus or a minus, but you'll find out uh, once you start operating as a corporation. So our wonderful entrepreneurial guests for this evening, um, we'll have to talk to them to find out if they are organized at all, but I'm sure they started, as many musicians do, as sole proprietors. And this is great and it is a very easy form to start as if you're just selling your services or functioning as uh, an independent contractor. These entrepreneurial musicians are fantastic. They've been together for several years. We've had them on the show before and I'm just so delighted that they wanted to come back. And they play all original music written by Daniel Bennett, and who's a saxophonist, and his music has been hailed as an original musical voice of his generation. He's performed around the world, as they all have, and Daniel Bennett Group has been written about and featured in The Village Voice, The Boston Globe, They've been talked about in Time Out in New York, and certainly we've talked a lot about them here on the show. I am just absolutely pleased and delighted to have them back here as our guests this evening. And I'm happy to present to you the Daniel Bennett Group.
Guys, guys have gotten better. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. It's been a little while, but it's good to be back. I think oh. we were here a year ago. Yeah. <clears throat> I just yeah. remember that last time we were here, it was a pouring rain, and today it's freezing cold. It feels like winter in the middle of October. Imagine special that. Special weather for a special group. Well, I'll take that. It's memorable, you know? Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> so I, I love this new album title. How do you come up with these titles? You know, uh, we form a committee and we get a lot of opinion. No, I'm just kidding. It's from my own twisted mind. I love cartoons. I love old mystery movies and TV shows. Perry Mason, Murder, She Wrote, whatever. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yes, so the yes, new, yes. The new record, yeah, The Mystery yeah. at Clown Castle, has that kind of... A uh, Hollywood mystery kind of thing going on. Oh, great! So. I get this Christie and yeah. uh, also Halloween. Ooh, you're a Halloween fan. No, but oh. it's <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, it does. Have, you know what? We thought about dressing up tonight, but uh, you know, Eddie said that probably is not a good idea. <laughs> you don't want to see our Halloween costumes. <laughs> that, that would have been a bit of a surprise. Would that to be me. interesting? <laughs> would that be a first for this show? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, the way that you look is terrific. Thank you. <laughs> Just uh, now, you do all of the arranging. You wrote that last piece, yes? Yeah. And you, do you also do all the arranging for the pieces that you do? Yeah, I actually write all of my songs on the guitar. Uh, I've played hmm. guitar my whole life. It's like my piano. Um, but I can sing s the songs better when I'm strumming chords. Mm, I can't play mm -hmm. guitar like Nat Janoff, but I can strum and sing. Yeah, and, he's and pretty good. He's pretty good, you know? <laughs> he's the best. I'm, I'm grateful to have this guy. So, uh, and then, yeah, we arrange, I arrange the parts and what I hear, but a lot of it is up to the group. The group has their own input, mm -hmm. which is nice. Everybody mm -hmm. has a say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, what else have you been doing since you were last here? Um, yeah. A lot of recording? Yeah, so we did the, we, the new album, The Mystery of Clown Castle, has been out. We put it out in January, and the group has been touring. We've been in the Midwest, Kansas, Indianapolis, St. Louis. We wow. went to Cleveland, and we're going to go out. We, see, we were in Florida for a week, um, Pennsylvania. We, we've been, it's been a very busy year. Um, it and, sounds like it. Yeah, I mean, no complaints. It's been, no. a, it's been, a, been a wild ride. We're going to head out to uh, the West Coast in, in, in January. Um, and uh, so just kind of covering as much territory as possible. Yeah. Well, I'd love to say hello again since you've all been here before to, to Eddie, Nat, and Matthew. Eddie, why don't we start with you? You have a mic over there? I guess we should start with the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you remember that you're playing uh, one of my favorite instruments. That my brother's a bass the player. The bass, of course. Yeah, yeah. I also yeah. remember that it, when we were here last time in the show, you asked me where I went to school, and somehow we floated off the topic, and I forgot to tell you. Oh, what well, would you remember to tell me right now? <laughs> yeah, I actually kept it in mind. I went to Manhattan School of Music. And now you're from Israel. Yeah. And did you grow up there, and and you came here to go to school to study music? It gets more complicated than that. I well, was born okay, in, we don't have that much time. But, <laughs> I was born okay. in Vilnius, Lithuania. Give me the, the Cliff's Note short version. Yeah, uh, very quick. Vilnius, Lithuania, I was born. I moved to Israel. Then mm -hmm. I kept growing up in Israel. And then I moved to New York, and I kept growing up in New York. <laughs> An ongoing work in progress. And you're doing very well in the growing Still up trying process. To grow. <laughs> yes, I, I love your bass playing. I really Thank do. Thank you so much. Oh, it's, it's just really terrific. And... I must say, it's even better than it was before. So how long have you been here in New York now? 14 years. Wow. You're a New Yorker. You are Actually, New I've Yorker. lived in New York for the biggest part of my life, more mm. than I lived anywhere else. Oh, oh, that's wonderful. It's a great place. It's a great place. And if you could just, uh, that mic, you could pass it over to uh, Nat. Welcome back to the show. It's so nice to have you here. And I see you have a really nice new guitar like that. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually had it before. I just had, had not used it for Daniel's music, oh. but I brought it out. I forget why. And then I think he was like, you know, use that. that yeah, it's a special better. occasion, special yeah. show. So it's great. It's, it's really nice. Thanks. It's on the album. I, you, this sound, this amp. And ah, uh-huh. Now, are you still uh, a guest um, instructor at, uh, where is it, the uh, William Patterson University? That's where you went to school also, mm -hmm. isn't it? You got your degree I did, there? yeah. 
Ah, and you are teaching there as well for the summer, or you, well? You know what, I, I used to, uh, I haven't taught there recently, uh, but it's ironic, I'm gonna see the director like next Monday, just for lunch, just because I've known, I, I, when I started there, he started there. Ah. So I've known him this whole time. So uh, maybe you'll start back again and share your talents? Uh, I would li I like that school. I'm gonna, I'll probably ask him about that. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, Dave Dempsey, that's, that's his name, Dr. Dempsey. Oh, that's terrific. It's yeah. so nice to have you back. Same here. So Thank if you, you can uh, give yep, the mic Matthew. to Matthew, the busiest drummer in town. Yeah, oh, still yeah. am. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nothing's changed. No. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's great. I love that I mean, title. that's such a nice thing to be able to say as a working musician. Yeah. You know? Yep. And are you head of the percussion department at Long Island City um a school in Long Island City? Are you, you still there? You could say that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The, we, it's um. There's one person in that in that particular faculty, and that's me. So, <laughs> I um. It's growing. Yeah, it's growing. yeah. <laughs> but I, you know what? I handle. I, I I have. I wear a lot of hats there. I I do. You know. I do the percussion, drum set. You know. There's. You know. It's a, it's a growing school with a growing uh, amount of of uh, percussion students. And you know whatever. Whatever they want, whether they want snare drum, whether they want hand percussion, drum set, I do, I do. Oh, so, that's you know, great. It's great. I love it. Now, are you still doing Broadway and um, other things like that? Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Who's been at the 55 bar? Uh, that's going to be there tomorrow night. Oh, wonderful. Since you asked. Oh, be there on Sunday. Eddie's going to be there on Sunday. Oh. That's great. That is true. Now you each have your own groups, even though you uh, they play with you. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's busy in their own right. I mean, they all lead groups, and in the jazz world, you end up kind of working with a lot of people. So it's great. It Which keeps is, things. Yeah, it keeps yeah, things yeah. interesting. It yeah. does. It does. But I will but, say th these guys are very easy to travel with. So I try to keep this is my this is my unit right here. So it's you a know, great I unit. keep. I, I really try not to stray from that. Yeah, because yeah. We, besides being great musicians, they're terrific stand-up comics as well. Yes, they are. Just, they're very funny. <laughs> so, well, how about doing another piece? That would be great. You know, in the spirit of comedy, maybe we should do a song called The Clown Chemist. I like that. <clears throat> it's a piece that I wrote a year ago along with Eddie and uh, features a little bit of Nat Janoff on the guitar over here. How, how do you market yourselves? Do you use social media a lot? Um, yeah, I mean, all things social media, word of mouth, uh, TV, radio. I started the group in 2004 when oh. social media was still kind of in its infant stages. So we, the group, you know, I have experience just with the old school approach of posters, face to face, but then we have a very active Facebook page, oh, Twitter, good. Instagram. 
Um, I mean, you know, the way that you talk as though you've been doing this for years, but you all look so young. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> It's cool. But it's okay. <laughs> well, the, well, you know. Um, it's okay. We, we, we learn a lot, but I'll tell you that we learn a lot as we go. Um, with the group, uh, you know, you pick things up along the way. As we tour, we learn and meet new people, and we find methods that work, and we find things that don't work. Oh, that's um, great. Well, listen, coming here, certainly, I hope works. It's been, <laughs> it's been really good. I'll tell you, some people um, saw our last, the last broadcast and ended up nominating us, uh, some folks nominated us for the New York City Hot House Jazz Awards. Ah, and that's the group, great. Yeah, and the group just won uh, Best Jazz Group in New York. So oh, that's wonderful. I'm very well, grateful for what you've done, June, in helping us uh, and featuring the music and all the other entrepreneurs that, that you help out along the way. It's oh, very nice. believe me, it is my pleasure. Yeah. And I thank you so much for coming back and being on the show again. And yeah. it's just been a thrill and a delight to hear your wonderful music. And I want to also say thank you to our wonderful crew. And, of course, a very, very special thanks to Rich here at Manhattan Neighborhood Network for making this show possible. You have been watching Minding Your Business, the show for incredible entrepreneurs from every walk imaginable of life tonight featuring musical entrepreneurs. So I, I really am delighted that you joined us to hear this wonderful group. And as I said, you've been watching Mind of Your Business. I'm your host, June Middleton, and please see yourself where you want to be. And in the time that we have left, how about closing us out with that another would, piece? That would be, we would love to. This and it's called Flow. I actually wrote it on saxophone, then I tried it on clarinet, and now and then flute, and now I'm going to do it on piccolo Wonderful. for the first time on your show. So yeah, great. I Hit think it. we have a friendly audience. We're going to give it a shot tonight. And Absolutely. I should mention, too, the website is Daniel Bennett Group. Like Tony Bennett, Daniel Bennett, no relation, although I'm a real Bennett. Um, DanielBennettGroup.com, and um, I hope if you are watching, we can hear the group at Tommy Jazz in Midtown Manhattan every month, or check us out if you're in the United States. We are touring quite extensively this fall. Okay, wonderful. Right. If you will, please close us out.